Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. You might be asking yourself, uh, excuse me, Dean Mike, last time that we were watching your videos, you were outside Lake Valor, and now you're by the cycling road. What in the heck heck is going on? Well, my friends, first off, you sometimes you gotta to be successful, you gotta you gotta crack a few eggs. So this is the egg we got from Riley in the Iron Island. It's a Riolu! Oh yeah! I wasn't actually going to spend time doing this, but I thought it was appropriate. Riolu is kind of the pseudo unofficial mascot of this game. I mean, not Riolu specifically, but Lucario, obviously. Known as the Emanation Pokemon. The aura that emanates from its body intensifies to alert others if it is afraid or sad. I wonder if people can... Smell my aura. And we would like to give Riolu a nickname. And Riolu will be named Raymond. That seems very appropriate. I don't know. Does it? I'm just making stuff up at this point. But now we have a Riolu on the team. And it is level one, so we've got some catching up to do. But Riolu is not going to be the only new Pokemon added to the team today. Ooh. What could that mean? Well, you're about to find out, and you're going to like it. But first, I need to find my uh, Super Repels. Full disclosure, I was actually really nervous that I was going to mess it up and the uh, egg would hatch off screen, but it didn't, so that's pretty epic. But anyway, if we remember the Wayward Cave, there was an entrance to the Wayward Cave way over here, right? That's not the only way to get in. I don't remember. <laughs> I was trying to be really cryptic right there and I totally messed it up. Way over here. Let's just rewind that back. There actually is an alternative entrance to the Wayward Cave if I could find it. Where is it? Here it is. It only took 15 tries. Ooh, I need flash. Do I still have flash? I think I do. I don't remember if I got rid of it yet, but it is not on this team. Remember, it is, uh, Bart has it. Please tell me you still have it. We do! That would have been really disastrous if I didn't. I, that would have been a very quick cut. But anyway, let's go ahead and use Bart and have flashlight the way you can't come into this cave or this part of the cave. Until you have strength. This is a strength potion puzzle. So I believe you have to complete the Canalave City Gym before you can do this. Also, these boulders don't really look too different from what we already have. That It makes me confused that this is like, these are the ones that you push. Like in, a, in the other Pokemon games, it was pretty obvious which ones it was, but this one, not so much. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is an alternative route into the wayward cave and I actually do want that repel to wear off because I'm hunting for a Pokemon in this cave. Ooh, there we go. No, I don't want. Oh boy. Now I say that and now I'm going to get humbled by a bunch of Geodude and Zubat. It's not what I'm looking for. I promise. There's a very specific Pokemon that can only be found in this cave. Well, I actually don't know that for sure. But I, uh, I need to take my bike out one more time. And, uh, whoop. Great. If I could just find the Pokemon I'm looking for, that would be awesome. I want to show off this cave a little bit, or I would just cut to the battle, which isn't quite as fun unless I, you know, unless I'm bordering on like a half an hour of recording and I have made no progress but okay so take out your bike make sure you got the speedy version on Ooh, that was <laughs> you guys saw that that was a little awkward okay this is a little bit of a puzzle as you can see you have to uh, get into a battle first Oh, there's Bronzorn here. Surprise, just like the other part of the Wayward Cave. I actually believe that the Pokemon I'm looking for is in a back room of said area. 
Now what is going to be a little interesting is that, as you can tell, the levels of the Pokemon in this cave, as well as the one I'm looking to find today, are a little bit on the weaker side. Oh, I don't want to do that. This is super good gameplay of this uh, PowerPoint quality frame rate. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Let's remember how buttons work. Wee. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and walk that. Yeah, this this cave is a little a little goofy. And I don't particularly care for this, but I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, here we go. The Grip Claw, I don't actually know what that is. Let's check that out in a moment. What is the Grip Claw? What are we gripping? Let's find out as I scroll to the top. The Grip Claw is an item to be held by Pokemon. It extends the duration of attacks like Bind and Hrap. Okay. Interesting. Oop. I don't have my speedy bike on. It's gonna be something I'm going to never remember. Okay. And I would like to go up there, I believe. I did not pre-play this, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Can I just go? I'm not entirely sure how that works. Okay. Ooh. No, no! Gosh dang it. Well, let's give this another go. The old college try. I don't know exactly what that means, that phrase, college try. Because there's a lot of people that I know that, in my experience, with post-secondary education who did not try. So, I feel like college try is a bit of a misnomer. Okay, so you do need the fast bike, but you can't go too fast. Bell let go? Yes, there it is. Revive? Very cool. I really hope that I'm right about this, because if it's not, I'm going to look like a dummy. Okay. I do historically remember some things being available. Okay. I think this is, I think we're making some, some traction here. Oh, Earthquake. Well, it's good that we came here anyway. All right. I feel like the Pokemon that I'm interested in is in this cave. I hope. I didn't just bring you in here to show you a TM, I promise. But it looks like this, this might just be... Oops. I might just have to hope I find it. And then I will cut to it. Yes. So let's let Repel wear off. And it is not Zubat. So what I will do to save you all a moment is I am going to finish running away. And then when I find this Pokemon, I will come right back to you. So hang tight, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's a Gibble or Gibble or Jibble or whatever. I don't know. But this is what we've been trying to find. And this will become a potential member of the team. I bought a lot of Dusk, ball, dusk Balls. Bought a lot of balls. Not for this specific reason, but yeah. Gibble is the... Uh, is one of the basic stage Pokemon of this game's pseudo legendary, which is pretty exciting. I think it's great. Pretty fun. Hopefully we can catch it and add it to the team. It's going to take some time, obviously, to get it up to speed, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm really hesitant because it's such a low level to actually try to fight it. Weaken it at all. I don't want to accidentally Knock it out. Ooh, this could be good. Hey, we didn't have to do anything. It's like I'm playing Arceus all over again. Everything you just magically catch somehow. There we go. And Raymond got, <laughs> excuse me. He just got six levels out of us catching Gibble. That's great. We did it, guys. Wonderful. Okay, Gibble, the land shark Pokemon. It's a dragon ground type, pretty unique type. It nests in a small it nests in small horizontal holes in cave walls. It pounces to catch that to catch prey that's straight too close. I cannot read today. Of course. Gibble will now be known as 
Grayson. Grayson the Gibble? That sounds like a good name. We're spelling gray like the color. Although, you know, I always think it's interesting. Like, how, how do you spell gray? Is it G-R-E-Y? G-R-A-Y? You know, what do you think? Go ahead and... Put Miguel in the box for now. And because I am not interested in any way of going back the way that I came, I am definitely going to take the easy way out with the escape rope. Okay, and then I should, if I use my doodad over here, this witch call it, navigate to the old, uh, yes. The old HMs, and I don't remember if this was like the faster way or if this was. They both kind of suck. This is fine. Everything is fine. It's basically the way that I went before, just in reverse. So we actually will go to Lake Valor now. Excuse you. Bye. Okay. Let's check my Pokemon. I think that they are all healed. Yes, and Grayson is going to be a great addition, I believe. And we're actually going to switch out. The team is probably going to be a bit... This is going to be rough. We'll say that. It's probably going to be a bit rough. I'm actually impressed, though. I think that that Gibble encounter is like 10% in the cave, and I think I found it after like maybe a dozen tries. So that's pretty good. But we're just taking a little bit of a stroll. I could cut this out. But the trek to... Lake Valor is not really that far away. We're just taking a little jaunt. There's this big chaotic thing that's happening at the lake. And we're just like, you know what? I'm going to go catch some Pokemon. Kind of makes me think of Breath of the Wild. When Zelda's like, Link, I need your help. Calamity Ganon, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, well, actually, I'm going to go climb some mountains in my underwear. So, got some jazzy Team Galactic music. Let's listen to this for a moment. It's very jazzy. Okay. Playtime is over. Time to crush some grunts. Okay, so it seems like... Oh, jeez. This doesn't look very much like a lake to me. Is that lava? What's happening? There is a magma. Which one is it? I don't know. Unfortunately, these Magikarp aren't going to be long for this world. I think we're going to be getting in some battles here. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with playing in the mud. I mean, I'm not a pig or anything, but... Actually, I say that there is nothing wrong with playing in the mud. However, I personally would hate every moment of that. I'm just a strange type who really doesn't like to get dirty, so... It's that kind of thing that I know for a fact would just drive me insane. But yeah, we're going to be putting the team, the B team, into this episode a little bit so we can raise Raymond and Grayson. I don't know if they'll become permanent members of the team, but at the very least, I wanted to expand our arsenal. Also, I think this is really funny when this happens. I love it. Eh, those stats weren't great. I would have expected more out of four levels, but... Raymond to learn his first steel move, which is great. Okay, and Krogunk. Yeah, we're not quite at the point where Grayson would be uh, formidable enough. I think Poison Dark, I believe, is what we're dealing with here. So it makes the most sense just to keep, keep our current situation. The amount of Krogunk, though. Was it Poison Dark? No, it's got to be something else. Because flying moves wouldn't be effective against it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But having played Arceus for a little bit, I always talk about it. Like I... I'm not talking about this game. That girl you wish you were with, it's, that's how it's, this game is probably starting to feel. Also, oof, those are, those are rough. This is the only... Okay. Great. I mean... It's a level 13 Riolu, it's moves that is not going to be great. That's okay. We'll get there, buddy. Don't worry. First battle done. 
You're going to watch me take out a galactic leader with this horrible tweener team that I'm dealing with here. Yeah, these poor Magikarp, though. Jeez. They must have really done a number on that lake. They used the galactic bomb. We remember that we were trying to thwart the terrorism. One of the galactic grunts outside of Pastoria said, if you actually think about it, that's kind of crazy. Like, they put this in a kid's game. I mean, there's like terrorism in every Pokemon game, whether it's like good old, you know, run-of-the-mill terrorism or like, you know, just your your grade standard eco-terrorism. Sometimes it's like mystical terrorism. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's like trying to conjure up. I mean, they're always trying to conjure up some sort of like legendary Pokemon. Also, can you guys stop not being intimidated? Like, that's kind of my thing and you're ruining it, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've seen those videos before of, I don't know if they were like science experiments or what, but there was, there were moments where these people were like dropping these huge barrels of, I wanna say it was like potassium or some sort of like alkali metal that's like really um, reactive to water. Or maybe it's air, one of the two. And they dumped it into like this lake and it like completely caused the lake to evaporate. It was, I don't know if it was intentional. I don't know if that's the preferred way to remove water from a body of water, but it was pretty wild. It made a pretty huge explosion. Also, get out of here. We are super fast. And what is, what is Krogunk? I thought it was Poison Dark. Am I wrong? I will check after this battle. Also, Raymond is coming along nicely. It's already got 15 levels. Okay, work up. What is work up? It's roused. Great. Yeah, we can. that can replace faint. Faint's a dumb. I'll never use that. Give me some Aura Sphere. Give me some Giga Impact. Give me some whatever. Give me some crazy moves. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the Pokedex because I am dumb and I don't know what Krogunk is and I want to know. We've basically seen everything that we could so far. There's only a handful of Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. And those will typically be handled by the, as we play further on down the road, literally, like Victory Road is where you'll wind up seeing, how do I, what is it? Nope. Let's sort by A to Z. That would be great. I'm looking for Krogunk, which is not in the G's. There it is. Krogunk. Come back here. Krogunk is a... Oh, I don't have it because I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just going to assume it's something that I'm strong against because I'm awesome and I'm epic. Okay. So we're mowing down these galactic grunts. These battles aren't... Not really anything to write home about, unfortunately. Kind of boring. You're going to be fighting lots of Krogunks, lots of Zubats and Golbats and all kinds of run-of-the-mill baddies. Man, this I actually like, I like Krogunk. I think Krogunk is a cool Pokemon. So, I still got to think like, is it fighting type? That's the only thing that would, that the the flying type would be strong against in this instance, I think. But I could be wrong. Okay, Grayson, Raymond, both leveling up. It's going to be a race to see who can... Ooh, Bulldoze is a great move. We already know Sand Tomb, which is 3585. Bulldoze is much better. Oh, yeah. Let's bull... Oh, and he has Dragon Breath? Man, Grayson's going to be awesome. I do believe, though, because Grayson is of the pseudo legendary variety that it will acquire it will acquire experience at a slower rate i don't know if that's like officially how things are in pokemon but i know that some pokemon their experience quotient or whatever you want to say it takes some of them more more time to, oh that's not what i meant to click okay great well, I wouldn't have gotten to go first anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't know what Heavy Slam is going to do. Probably nothing. Great. 
We already got light screened, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and confuse it then. That's fun. That did more damage than I thought it was going to do. Come on, Brandy, you're better than that, right? I mean, probably not. Brandy's one of those Pokemon that because it doesn't have high attacking stats that it's really tough for me to use. I understand the value of a tank when it comes to, you know, stalling in battle and doing setups and stuff. But you don't really need to do that in the OG game. Maybe in the meta game if you're competing against somebody. But in general, you don't really need to do that. You can get by just using your strongest moves. Also, wow. That light screen must be super strong to completely negate my psychic. Yeah, like... <laughs> That Confusion Hurt did about as much damage as my Psychic did. It's not like I really plan to use Brandy a ton, given the nature of the battles I've got coming up. It's not really effective against anything. Oh boy. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? My patience is wearing thin. Not that I had much to begin with. I don't have very many patients because I'm not a doctor. Oh. Okay, so... All right, let's, you know what? Light screen wore off. Let's give Brandy one. Oh. Is it your job to be annoying? Like, is the AI programmed, like, in the in the coding language? Is there just a little button that says be as annoying as possible? Goodness. All right, whatever. We will bring in, we'll bring in Sharon. Sharon. We're sharing the load. That's good, right? Yeah, it's just... These battles and any of the fights that you're going to do against the baddies of the world, of the Pokemon world, whether it's your Team Rockets, your Aqua Magmas, Galactic, whatever the other ones are from games that I don't remember, like any of those, it's always going to be kind of the, the same thing where you always have these bog standard Pokemon, which is like fine. I mean, almost everybody got to level up there except for Scarlet because Scarlet sucks. Scarlet will be better soon, eventually, I think. I hope. Hey, look at that. Team's coming along pretty well. You get a level up, and you get a level up, and you get a level up. Beautifly. Okay. Well, this is a chance to use Scarlet. We haven't really done much with her. Although she is close to leveling up. To the point where she will be evolving. That's in five levels. Level 40 is the evolution of Scarlet. We don't, I don't believe we've seen that yet. Oh, I thought Venoshock would be better. Guess not. I got excited. It's a bug type, and I was like, I can use something effective. And they both have... Le oh, my gosh. Do you need to do this game? Like, can you... Can you not? Also, I'm playing through this, and because I've been almost exclusively playing Arceus in my free time, that as I play through this, it definitely has me almost trying to hit the L and R buttons, which... In those games, if you haven't played it yet, spoilers, the moves that you do, oh, it's because of the light screen. The moves that you do, there are two different varieties. You can do a weaker version of a move that's quicker, or you can do a stronger version of a move that is, oh, that's not good. You can do a stronger version of a move that's slower. So it, it's kind of like a, uh, a give and take, you know, in the order of playing Pokemon. If you need to get in a couple of quick hits, that's a good way to do it and having the it's just like a different way to improve well it's using turd cutter on us it's just a different way to improve the meta game a little bit with like the game within the game of the battles it makes them a little more interesting also why are these pokemon so strong my goodness i definitely do not have a good setup for this upcoming boss battle this is probably gonna be rough the b team is the B team for a reason. Okay. I don't know how many more grunts there are. This is oh. Brandy's evolving everybody as I'm talking so much smack. It's finally going to be able to contribute sort of. This is one of the creepiest Pokemon in my opinion. Yeah. Look at that. Looks like something right out of Breath of the Wild like the uh, the Guardians. Especially the ones that don't have legs. Bronzong is the Bronze Bell Pokemon. Also weighs a ton. Not technically. 
One caused a media storm when it was dug up at a construction site after 2,000 years sleep. Okay, Brainy wants to learn the move block. I don't know what that is. No. I mean... I mean, well, actually... There are roaming Pokemon. Could be good. But... We would have to outspeed it and we won't, so yeah, that's dumb. If Brandy was fast, that was a, a decision that took some logicking, I guess. There's nothing ever over here except for just more of the... Oof, all the, all the legendary Pokemon, ooh. We did hear the tale of there potentially being legendary Pokemon in this area. The lake. There's one at every, every body of water, apparently. Oh, look at these. Oh, these poor Magikarp. It's like a Magikarp human centipede. Were they planning on doing something with the Magikarp? I mean, if they went the route of gold and silver, they could have turned the Magikarp into Gyarados by using that signal. That'd be useful. And we are doing a little rough here on the, uh, on the health, so let's go ahead and... You, let's burn through these potions, because I don't really have a need for them. I haven't really been using them. And I don't really want to waste my Moo Moo Milk. If I don't have to. Okay. So that's pretty good. We have enough Moo Moo Milk. I will buy more of that in the future. It's definitely one of the best bang for your buck healing items. And yeah, our team kind of sucks. So also, Brandy only having 93 HP for a Bronzong is a little surprising. I thought that it would be higher, but I imagine it's... Defensive stats are pretty exceptional, yeah. Not useful, but exceptional. So let's go ahead and pop into said cave where maybe a legendary Pokemon awaits. Oh, it's just you. Great. So this is the third of the Galactic Commanders, the one that we have not met yet. There's a character in Pokemon Arceus that looks just like this person. So I wonder if they're related. So we defeated Jupiter, we defeated Mars, Mars is the first one, and this is the third commander. This my friends is Commander Saturn. Ooh, this is a poor choice. This is not a good matchup, I mean it's not a bad matchup, but it's not ideal. I didn't really know coming into this battle what I was supposed to expect. Also, get... Does everything have an ability that negates my ability? That's lame. Okay. Let's get Steven in there to give it the old chomp. All my Pokemon have names in Arceus too, and they're not the same as this, so I get a little confused as to which ones are which. That's actually really smart that he used that. Of course it did. Great. Let's see what a, uh, what a bite does anyway. Let's take a bite out of crime. That was the rough McGruff thing. Something kind of along the lines of like, what was that related to? As a kid, like the D.A.R.E. program or like don't do drugs and stuff. Which I think is really funny because I remember being a part of those programs when I was a kid and in my area at least. So D.A.R.E. is a, uh, is a program I think sponsored by like police stations or something to encourage children not to do drugs. And like they come to your school and they like do a bunch of activities with you it's like very much like a like a drugs are spooky and scary and evil and I mean I'm not encouraging people to do drugs with what I'm saying but um, in general it's kind of a, a situation where it's um, yeah we'll use knockoff we'll get rid of knockoff with night slash it's definitely meant to be kind of like the abstinence approach to drugs in the same way that like sexual education is in schools and stuff like that whatever works for you I guess but those specific types of teachings don't work. Like there was a, a study that was done that was conducted. And it basically said like dare in and of itself is not effective and it didn't reduce the rates of people doing drugs. So it's all kind of unfortunate, I suppose. But um, yeah, I, I remember I was in the program and I, I wrote an essay, I guess. I don't remember what it was about because I was like 10. Wrote an essay, won some award got a medal for my efforts you know 
And I, to this day, I still know the song, the Dare song, which uh, I'll, I'll recite it. I won't sing it because I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to wear out my beautiful voice before my recital tonight. But it's uh, D. I won't do drugs. A. I won't have an attitude. R. I will respect myself. And E. I will educate you. So it's a little self-righteous. It's a very interesting program. I remember, you know, I was a kid, so I didn't know much about it, but I enjoyed it. I thought the officer who came to my school, shout out to Officer Henry, if you're still doing things, was a nice man, and he taught us a lot of cool things. Unfortunately, it's not really, ooh, it's not really, like, like I shared just now, it's not really an effective program, unfortunately. It doesn't do what they hoped that it would. And, you know, here I am still doing tons of drugs. I'm high right now. Not really, but high on life. High on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond in this crazy fight against Saturn. Also, oh, this bronzer is really annoying. Now I know what it must be like to fight mine. Oh my gosh, it's like a crazy amount of defense. I should have brought something else. Ooh, nice. The flinching has begun, baby. All right. We like that. Bronzor is down. It has fainted. And the largest moon of Saturn, the Ace. I don't know why it decided to use Rain Dance. I don't think they have anything that is water type. So that's a very strange choice. But the finale is the Toxicroak. I don't remember, I feel like... I feel like Jupiter also had a Toxicroak. This is just one of the things that you're required to have as part of being a commander. You don't get the entry level... Crow Gunk, you get the Toxicroak, is that what it is? Well, that should... Oh! It's got some defense, huh? Oh boy. This could hurt. Oh, I guess not. All right, and uh, let's do a close combat to finish things off. Done and done. I believe that's the conclusion of this battle. Should get some pretty good experience here. Very nice. Half the team gets a level up. We like it. Grayson's actually pretty close to evolving. The first evolution of Grayson comes quickly. The second one, not so much. So Saturn is down with his weird horned head. I also think it's funny is that the character in Arceus that looks like Saturn, I believe is female. And I think Saturn with his shrimpy little arms and sweater vest is, is male, but. We cannot stem the flow of time, that's right. Because time is a flat circle. So as you can see here, there is no Pokemon of the lake. It has since fled. But it appears that Mars is carrying on the chaos at Lake Verde. So Lake Valor is in rough shape and Lake Verde might be headed that way too. So we'll go check that out next time. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And I'll see you next time. Bye.